All right, Mason, this is for you. Um, I just discovered something that I think might help you out with your uh, cutter head lock and dust collector situation. So this is the R4330. As you know, this is the same planer that you have, but you are missing this part here, the, uh, the dust shroud, which on the 4330 is a single plastic piece. It's actually two pieces, but they're connected. So this is how the dust shroud works on the 4330. There's a, an opening in the dust shroud here, goes down to where the hose would connect, connects to the, the back of the motor on the uh, router, or I'm sorry, on the planer. So <clears throat> the, the issue is I don't, have a, uh, <laughs> I don't have a cutter head lock anymore because I have the helical head um, and because I mailed it to you. But normally the cutter head lock would be right here and this little tab on the dust shroud would hold it down so that the cutter head can turn. So you don't have the dust shroud, which is a problem, but I just discovered that the parts from the uh, TP1300, which is the same as uh, several others, the TP13002, the uh, QTEC, 4200 and I think the Shop Fox 18, um, 1877. Uh, these are all the same, and the Shop Fox is still made, and the the, uh, the QTEC you can still get parts for. So I think you can get the same the parts. So the way it works on the on this one is it's a different dust collection mechanism, but the the ports still line up the same. So the dust comes out of the back of the motor into the cutter head here, and then it flows down into this kind of open area at the bottom, but it'll still hold your, your uh, cutter head lock down here. So the way this one connects, you put the same two screws in, but then it's got a second part, a big plastic chunk here that goes under those screws and the dust actually comes out from this area down here and collects through the dust shroud there. So you can then take this and it uses a third screw right in the middle. And now you've got both dust collection, which you really should have, uh, the safety of having your cutter head covered so you can't accidentally get something, you know, drop something down in there and cause, you know, a really, really bad day. Uh, and it'll hold down your cutter headlock mechanism. So uh, if you can get your hands on the dust collection port, this is the shroud and the port for one of the other planers, I think you might be in business. There you go.